Tonight, the UT community gathering in prayer, their message to stand with UNC. As we've reported, a man and his wife, as well as a sister-in-law, were fatally shot at an apartment near the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill's campus yesterday. The victims are all Muslim. A 46-year-old man was arrested and charged with murder after he turned himself into police later in the night. And back here at home, students and Muslim community members met in Circle Park on UT campus for a candlelight vigil. They say they wanted to mourn the loss of life. Now, we spoke with one worship leader who says that the tragic shootings in North Carolina should be used to spark conversation about race and religion. He says that all lives matter. We have to begin just to have this conversation, to come together and commit to, to establishing relationships that lead to, to love and, and positive things and not lead to, to violence and, and death. Now, in North Carolina tonight, police say the preliminary investigation indicates the dispute started over a parking spot, but angry family members insist this had nothing to do with a parking spot and are calling the deadly shootings a hate crime, believing the suspect had threatened them before. Tonight, the suspect's wife is saying that he is not racist. While I am unable to comment fully on the matter, I can say with my absolute belief that this incident had nothing to do with religion or victim's faith. Six weeks ago, I cried tears of joy at my baby brother's wedding. Today we are crying tears of unimaginable pain over the execution style murders of my brother Dia, his bride Yusur, and her younger sister and best friend Razan. Right now, police are examining the suspect's computer to see if they find anything indicating bias against Muslims. We are told the suspect had no criminal record and has been cooperating with investigators.